Hey everybody, I thought I'd just uh, give you an update on some of the blooms I showed you in my previous Plants in the City video. The Vando Finetia is working on its last two buds and most are fully opened. While the Oncidium Twinkle is starting to open up buds on the last two spikes, the first couple are still just as awesome as ever and smell up most of the entire space. And there's the sad little den fowl. Down below, the Dendrobium Super Ice is just about peaked and it looks just stunning. I'm super excited about um, being able to bloom this plant as well as I have. And it has uh, just a slight floral fragrance early in the day. The Phalaenopsis scalarianus buds are still forming nicely. They're getting a lot bigger. Can't wait to see it bloom for the first time. My little Luteo alba barodisica is just about flush with its flowers too. Uh, no real scent of note, just uh, really cool looking little flowers. My little Pinguicula cerulea is flowering and it's eating gnats. Alright, here's a closer look at that uh, really cool Ascacinda Princess Mikasa Blue. Just gorgeous colors. I, I hope I can get it to do that again. And down here, I'm not sure if I, if I showed you this one last time. This is my Dendrobium Frosty Dawn and it's blooming for several months now. These neat green flowers with bright orange tongues. And still some more buds developing along the cane as well. These two Nepenthes that are hanging are my most recent and they're a lot bigger than I expected to receive. Great pictures, but I can't really take any credit except they didn't die yet. I like keeping bug fighting plants in with my orchids. They're fun. This is the back shelf of Noids or No IDs that I mentioned previously. Um, a lot of spikes and I'm excited to see what their flowers look like. And there's one more hanging out up top. Thanks for watching.